Hi everyone, good morning. So, um, since we're still under enhanced community quarantine, I decided to make a video for those interested to work in human resource and those who wanted to start working in recruitment. So, so um, if you wanted to work in human resource, I suggest, in my opinion, try working first in recruitment because that will give you um, knowledge on how to handle different personalities. So, yeah. Okay, so for the first step, um, during the interview, of course, you're sourcing. Before, sor before interview, by the way. Before interview, you're doing sourcing. Meaning, you're checking the resume or profiles of different candidates. Now, if, for example, while browsing or while checking the profiles, nakita nyo that this candidate is really okay for that position, you have to build kasi a picture of exactly uh, what you needed for the candidate. Kung ano yung kailangan mo or ano yung gusto mo for that person na maha-hire mo. As the HR, you need to assess ano ba yung um, sino ba yung tao na mag-fit first sa culture ng company, second sa uh, magiging manager niya or magiging head niya. That's very important kasi kailangan alam mo na mag-jive sila or uh, alam mo na magkakaroon sila ng teamwork Kasi they will be working closely. So, kailangan talaga important yun na um, alam mo or na-assess mo kung pwede talaga yung candidate na to sa ganitong personality ng boss niya. Okay? You have to prepare. Hindi pwede na um, pagsalang mo dun sa interview room ninyo or pagsalang mo sa harap ng candidate. AEO kung ka na, hindi mo na alam yung mga questions or kung ano yung talagang hinahanap mo. It's very important you're prepared and you have questions in mind na ano yung mga tatanong mo for this specific position. Kasi mag-iiba-iba yung questions mo eh. Depende sa position na ina-apply yan and depende nga doon sa um, personality ng candidate. Okay? That will really varies. So, of course, by preparing, what I mean with preparing is you have to review the job description. Ano ba yung um, skills needed? Ano ba yung um, mga gagawin niya na sa tingin mo kakayanin ba nung candidate na interviewin mo? And second, you have to review the candidate's profile. It's very important na kilala mo yung candidate mo na i-interviewin. Not necessarily yung kilalang kilala mo, but at least you have the background na in mind. Kasi nga, um, it's very important that you know na pagsalang mo dun sa interview area ninyo, may questions ka nang ready sa mind mo. <laughs> Hindi pwede na um, dun mo palang re-reviewin yung profile niya. That will um, that will give them the notion na hindi mo alam yung mga questions mo or hindi mo alam yung hinahanap mo. And we do, we do not want that to happen. We want that to be avoided kasi nga, you are the uh, person na unang-una niyang makikilala dyan sa company ninyo. So, it's really important you review all of those. Of course, while you are in your interview room, you have to introduce yourself um, sino ka, kasi mamaya isipin niya <laughs> ano ka lang, diba uh, napabili ka lang ng suka ng nanay mo, and it happens to me before, bago pa lang ako sa HR, parang I think that's 2012, first HR job ko, tapos napagkamalan pa ako ng CFO CFO kasi ina-applyan niya so napagkamalan niya pa ako na ano <laughs> na bata kasi nga maliit ako diba tapos hindi naman talaga din ako at the time readily um, prepared for that interview kasi bago pa nga lang ako so it happens so addition with the preparation um, when I say preparation 
you as the interviewer must be prepared at all times. So make sure if you have scheduled interviews the next day or the following day, make sure you dress well. That's very important. And second, you smell and look good. Okay? Bakit siya important? Kasi, um, there are candidates, by the way, who's very specific with that or very particular with that. Na parang, um, you as the interviewer, kasi yun yung image na titingnan nila na pag nandito ka sa organization na to, I don't know, because I knew someone na ganyan, very particular with the shoes ng interviewer, with the dress ng interviewer. They're very particular pag sila yung aplikante. So, yeah, that will create an image kasi na ito yung organization ninyo. And you do not want naman na mag interview ka, for example, ng manager, tapos ang suot mo ay naka-jeans ka, tapos naka-flats ka, ba? So, you really have to make sure na okay yung image mo when you're doing interviews. So, next, once, first yung we build bigger picture about the candidate that you're looking for. Second, the preparation. And then third, during the interview, you have to introduce yourself. Um, you also have to uh, introduce about the company. And then make sure na once you introduce yourself and the company, you begin with, before you begin with your interview, your formal interview, you begin with, ano naman, informal chit-chat, meaning, kamustahin mo naman siya, how was he during his travel, his or her travel to your office, kamusta naman, para at least mag-loosen up, kasi, nangyayari, if, di ba, parang stressful na yung interviews, tapos, malalaman mo, parang, ay, parang antaray ng interviewer. May mga ganyan kasi na nangyayari. So, um, just to avoid that um, pagiging stiff ng candidate. Kasi once you're nervous, nagiging stiff ka and you cannot speak well. So, make sure na as an HR or as the recruiter, you need to make sure na maging comfortable din sila. Huwag yung um, masyado silang maging nerve nervioso. Kasi nga, yun nga, once nervous na yan sila, they cannot speak well. They cannot express themselves more kung ganun yung magiging nararamdaman nila. So, it's very important to loosen up. Huwag masyadong strict. You may look strict, yes. Pero, yun nga, during the interview, loosen up yung initial, yung introduction. And then, of course, once you, um, introduce yourself and introduce about the candidate um next process is asking questions okay so interview asking questions is very important bakit kasi diyan mo na malalaman if this candidate is really fit for the post okay so usually me um pag sa interview i do chronological order. Kung ano yung base sa resume nila. Para at least, hindi rin sabog yung questions questions mo. So, I usually start, how do they want me to call them? So, for example, ano yung nickname nila? Para at least, yun nga, merong personal touch. Second, um, I also ask yung mga personal information just to confirm kung ito ba yung residence nila, ito ba yung mobile number nila, ito ba yung email address nila, correct ba? Kasi there are candidates na hindi na-update ang resume and then during the interview, tsaka lang masasabi na, ay mam, bago na yung number ko, ay mam, hindi na yan yung email ko. So, you really have to confirm, ito ba talaga yung mga details niya? Kasi that's your only um, details na kakailanganin if you need to call again the candidates or communicate again with the candidates. So, that's very important. Next, um, after confirming all of those information, I usually ask one question lang. It depends na with the candidate on how are they going to answer. So, usually, I ask or I tell them to run through me their um, educational background and work experiences. Very important, um, if ikaw yung magi interview na prepared ka on how this candidate will answer. There are candidates na pag sinabihan mo yan, can you please run through me your educational background and work experiences? 
ang dami na as inasabi na niya in detail so you as an HR parang more of follow up questions ka na lang but there are candidates na pag sinabi mo can you please run through me blah 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 ang sasagutin lang siya uh, I graduated in this school with this course tapos next stop na hindi na niya nasabi kung ano yung mga naging work niya. I don't know kung kinakabahan, pero most of the candidates, mostly nowadays, hindi sila prepared with interviews. So, um, you as an interviewer, you need to make sure na makuha mo lahat ng mga sa tingin mo possible questions na tatanungin din ng mga susunod na interviewer. So, yeah. So, when I say that question or that statement, once na nagdare-derecho na okay lang, follow-up questions. Pero kung hindi talaga nakakapagsalita yung candidate, I usually ask na lang questions one by one. For example, he or she worked this for this company, ano yung position niya? And make sure na once you um, ask those questions, you really need to get these questions or these answers for the specific questions. Um, number one, very important sa akin kung confirmation ano yung naging position niya doon sa um, company. Second, gaano siya katagal doon sa company? Third, how much is the salary and what are the other benefits? Fourth, ano yung reason why the candidate left or resigned with previous company or why that candidate is planning to resign? Bakit? Kasi uh, once you present the profile to the final interviewer, you as the first person na nakausap ng candidate, you need to make sure na masagot mo rin sila pag nagtanong sila, o ano tong candidate na to, ano to, ano to, ganyan, ganyan. Pero at least, um, easier na rin for the final interviewer or for the hiring manager na um, mag-come up with the decision. Kasi nga, nakuha mo na lahat ng details. And it's very important talaga, by the way. Kasi um, that will also um, give you an insight. Ano ba yung rason bakit umalis yung tao na to dun sa previous company niya? And you can also ask follow-up questions with those reasons. So, sa HR or sa recruitment, hindi siya, hindi lang siya parang uh, naka, ano na yung mga questions mo na ito, sunod-sunod lang, ito na yun. Sabi ko nga kanina, it varies with different candidates, with different reasons, with different um, uh, organizations. So, it really varies that you ask the candidate specifically kung ano siya, ano yung ina-applyan niya. Because that's very important. And second, and last, by the way, last, during those questions, you have to ask situational questions. So, meaning, um, for example, may reason siya ba siya umalis sa nitong company? So, let's say umalis siya kasi hindi niya makasundo yung boss niya. You have to dig deep into that. You have to question, bakit hindi sila magkasundo ng boss niya? Maybe there's something, but of course you're giving the candidate benefit of the doubt. And that's the reason why you really need to come up with the follow-up question. Para at least, um, you also know kung um, valid ba talaga yung reason niya that will also help you in validating that answer pag nag-reference check ka na sa candidate. So, very important talaga siya. And for me, parang that's your way of knowing kung yung candidate ba is really fit for the position. Kasi what if ang reason niya is uh, sobrang strict nung boss niya kaya umalis na siya. Eh, tapos yung boss, magiging boss niya if ever makonsider siya for the, for the position, strict din. So, di ba, mangyayari nun, aalis lang siya ulit. Tapos, pag umalis siya ulit, wala. Hindi successful yung hire. So, better na kailangan ma- himay-himay mo siya. The fifth one is after the question and answer portion, you need to sell your company and the position as well. When I say sell, um, it's two-way. It's like you're selling your company to the candidate and the candidate is send it, selling his or her himself or herself to your company. So, two-way siya. And when I say sell um, the position in the company, meaning you get to explain um, thoroughly yung possession, ano yung gagawin niya, 
um, paano siya mag-grow sa position na yun and sa company na yan. Kasi usually, the reason naman why we resigned to our previous company is because of security of tenure or there are other reasons. Maybe we wanted to learn more. Maybe we wanted a company na may magandang um, culture and all. So, you have to have that um, that reason come up with that reason bakit kailangan niya mag-accept ng magiging job offer mo in the near future so yun nga yung sabi ko sa iyo you need to make sure matanong mo yung reason niya why he or she resigned or why he or she is planning to resign to his or her company kasi at the time makikita mo rin na ay pasok ba to sa culture namin pasok ba to sa aming um requirement, hindi pa ito magre-resign ka agad because in HR or in recruitment you really wanted a successful hire and that's very important hindi pwede yung nag-hire ka lang just to complete the manpower tapos-tapos na tapos magre-resign na lang ulit yung tao kasi nga hindi siya fit for the culture or for the position, tapos hanap ka na naman it's very expensive na um, mag-hire ng mag-hire, so you have to have that candidate na talagang mag-fit for the position and for the company Okay, so after explaining ano yung position, ano yung company ninyo, paano mo siya matutulungan to grow as a person or as an employee, you need to um, give the candidate the chance to ask questions. By then, for sure, magtatanong siya anong culture ng company, ano yung uh, magiging trabaho niya sa position na yun, magkano yung magiging salary. There are a lot of questions, but there are candidates naman na hindi rin nagtatanong na parang, <laughs> Okay na po, okay na po, parang ganyan. Para lang matapos na yung interview. But there are candidates, so for the HR, you need to be, be very, uh, you need to be very prepared. <laughs> Nagbakil pa yun. <laughs> you need to be very prepared na uh, sa mga questions. Kasi may mga tao na, yun nga, uh, nagtatanong talaga and pinapakita na they're really interested for the position and they really wanted to know more about the position. So, you have to be prepared. Okay? So, yeah, after that, um, of course, tapos na mga questions. Usually, mga two to three questions lang from the candidate. Huwag naman yung <laughs> abuti ng sampu. Hindi na kayo matatapos ka agad yan. Um, dapat, limit lang yung questions din para, yun nga, um, hindi rin sayang yung oras ninyo pareho. Next step is inform them of the next process. Meaning, uh, kung for final interview sila, let them know, you will let them know na, oh, I, please keep your lines open. I will call or text you for this um, final interview schedule. Just need confirmation. Pero at least alam nyo yung magiging next process. At makakapaghanda din yung candidate. And then, what to, de- what to expect? It's very important na alam din nila yung i-expect nila. And, Okay, so after the interview, syempre, there are instances na for me, uh, minsan pag medyo arrogant yung candidate or um, parang may feeling ako na parang hindi siya okay for the position, I do reflect the profile with the profiles. Bakit? Um, it's very important na pag nag interview ka, hindi ka bias. Um, kahit gano pa ka bastos or kahit gano pa ka arrogante yung candidate, it's very important that you always give the candidate benefit of the doubt. So, for example, um, during the interview, parang sa tingin, ang yabang naman nito, parang napakataas naman ng ano nito. <laughs> may mga ganyan, may mga ganyan akong experience. Pero, even ganun yung ano niya, yung naging impression ko sa kanya, pero magaling, or meron talagang knowledge about the position, consider ko siya, but very important, by the way, um, during the interview, na hindi lang ito ang hinahanap mo sa isang candidate. It's very important yung attitude. Number one sa akin yan. Bakit? Kasi, um, magaling ka nga, pero napakasama naman ng ugali mo na ako naman palang makakasundo sa company. So, mm, big no-no siya sa akin. Kasi nga, um, you want successful hiring. You want someone na magtatagal 
sa company, sa organization ninyo. And attitude is very important sa akin, lalo sa interview. Second na lang yung galing, kung magaling na magaling ka talaga. Pero kung wala ka na ang galing, <laughs> panit pa na ugali mo, aba, wag ka na mag-apply. <laughs> Joke lang. So, ayun. Um, ganun. Ganun yung number one rule sa akin. And you really have to reflect. Um, kasi minsan, there are times na wala ka rin sa mood mag-interview tapos parang, mm, hindi talaga to okay na candidate. Pero, kung after reflection mo, kung, ah, okay naman pala. So, yun nga. You have to be very cautious and decision making when it comes to interviewing candidates all right so i think that would be all um i hope you get to um get something about ways of interviewing candidates and i am thinking na right after this video i will also post another video of you naman as the candidate or the applicant, paano ka naman uh, magpe-present ng sarili, sarili mo during the interview. So, I will keep you on the loop. I will keep you uh, updated with the next video. But for now, eto muna tayo. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something about this video. And I hope I get to help those people na gusto rin mag-start sa human resource. Sorry. <laughs> you, I hope I get to help those people na gusto rin magtrabaho sa human resource and for those fresh graduates na gusto mag-pursue ng recruitment. Hindi siya madali, by the way, um, kasi nasa iyo yung unang bola, kumbaga. And, yun nga, at the end of the day, you as the HR, you want, you want that candidate na maging successful hire. Gusto mo yung candidate na yon na uh, matulungan to be in that company or be in that organization ng matagal at matulungan din siyang mag-grow. It's very important that your heart is into helping people na magkaroon sila ng trabaho na sa tingin mo mag-help with their um with their personality or with their career. Kasi nga, hindi lang basta ka mag-hire, hindi lang basta ka mag, ano lang, mag, mag-hire tapos pasok na, tapos hanap na lang pag nag Hindi siya ganun. Dapat ang mindset mo is someone who will really last it or who will really stay with your company and your organization and who will really help your organization as well. So, yun yung dapat na mindset. And your mindset as well, dapat, um, needs to help that person. Initial for me is to help that person na magkaroon siya ng magandang opportunity sa kanyang career. Alright? So, that would be all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!